Welcome to Listertainment, the channel that promises to entertain you, but it never does. Since the first part of this series did so well, I had to make it part 2 pretty fast. And also because I enjoy watching these fake masters getting taught a good lesson, and maybe they won't be able to take advantage of their students. These videos going viral also teaches the people watching that maybe they should start learning a legitimate martial art and not waste their time with these magical moves that don't accomplish anything, but make you look like a complete idiot who watches way too many movies. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also, be sure to turn on those notifications. And please let me know in the comments if you think that the UFC should have a fight in each event where a master or a regular person tries to beat a UFC fighter. That would be amazing. We start out with this 47-year-old Wing Chun master named Shang Jiang Quan who wanted to test his abilities against Shang Long, an MMA fighter. And here is the first sign that things are not going to work out for the Wing Chun guy since he doesn't even understand the touch gloves part of the fight. Instead, he shook the guy's hands. Now when they actually start, he finally gets the point and does touch gloves. Then, the MMA guy starts destroying him incredibly fast. He chopped him down with two hard kicks and pounced on him with punches until the Wing Chun guy turned his head and basically gave up. He probably has never been punched. But then, when he got the opportunity to get back up, he just couldn't take the pain in his leg and quit completely. The MMA trained guide here is named Xuan Wu and he is friends with Shu Xiaodong, that guy that tries to disprove fake masters in China. He takes on this kung fu master who is dressed up like Bruce Lee, like a complete tool. Bruce Lee is probably turning over in his grave right now that his name is brought up in any fashion with this guy. Of course, Mr. Bruce Lee wants to start with a jump kick. That was mostly for show since he was way too far to even land it and didn't even stretch out his leg. But as soon as he lands back on the canvas, he starts running away, completely turning his back. Once the MMA guy catches up to him though, he throws two quick kicks and that's all it took. He didn't even try to block, he kind of ducked the first one but he just placed his head on a platter for the second kick. Now we have a Baji Kwan master who took on an MMA student. Yes, a student just beat this highly trained martial arts guy and he didn't even break a sweat. Once again, we have the guy who thinks that he's so good at what he does that he doesn't need to take it seriously. He is trying to look cool the entire time, barely even trying to block or even move. I don't know what he thought was going to happen because he doesn't react, punch back or anything. He just gets punched and kicked with no fighting back at all. Kind of a weird video to be honest. Now we have the great Hoist Gracie who took on an undefeated Kung Fu master and completely demolished him. The Kung Fu guy kind of looks pretty good standing up and tries to use his strikes to win, but this is a member of the Gracie family so he took him to the ground easily since the opponent has no experience in stopping it. Person trained primarily in punches and kicks to avoid being wrapped up and taken down by a Gracie Jiu Jitsu practitioner. Hoist is determined to close the gap and take the fight to the ground. Tricacies of grappling. Hoist is taking the time. Once on the ground, Hoist took full control, being able to finish the fight multiple times, but instead he just prolongs it so he can really teach this man a lesson. The opponent is obviously in good shape. When Hoist applies this choke with the legs around the neck of the Gung Fu expert, he way. This is an actual real fight between a Wing Chun guy taking on an MMA fighter. It already starts being pretty funny as both fighters take some weird stances. 
The Wing Chun guy stands square to his opponent, which is already pretty bad. And the MMA guy, I think, is trying to intimidate him by standing in a crouched position. The Wing Chun guy rushes in at full speed and gets taken down immediately in, into side control. Then the other guy gets the full mount. While the Wing Chun guy tries to get away, he gives up his back and gets choked out. If you are using a martial art based on strikes, make sure to keep your distance. Don't rush an MMA guy who also thrives on the ground. Here we have a 27 year old Wing Chun fighter who took on an old amateur fighter who was 43 years old. The Wing Chun guy sure does like to switch stances a lot, going from orthodox to southpaw like he knew what he was doing and wanted to get better angles. But the fight just started so he obviously has never fought before. Then the MMA guy saw what he was bringing to the table and realized that it was absolutely nothing. So he jumped on him, took him to the ground and just pounded him until he quit. Here we have Yi Long, the self-proclaimed Shaolin monk, who took on the kung fu master named Wang Ji Liang. Yi Long isn't a real monk, but he does know how to fight, winning actual fights. And here, I don't think Yilong is trying his best, he's just kind of messing around, throwing really slow punches that still landed extremely easily, since this so-called master throws the wildest punches and attempts movie-type leg sweeps. Until finally Yilong gets down to it and starts throwing short, fast punches that ended the fight. This is another Wing Chun fighter who challenged an entire MMA gym in China, saying that he could beat any of them. Li Jing Hong stepped right up and put him in his place. He's in his traditional stance with his traditional garb, eats a leg kick, one, two. That was a right, left, and he's already down. For God's sakes, what the hell is this? He is looking down the entire time. Not sure if he's shy because he kind of likes the MMA guy, but he pays the ultimate price by not paying attention and takes on two quick punches getting knocked out. These are the worst types of masters, the so-called no-touch masters, because they fool people into thinking that they have the power to win fights without having to even touch their opponent. Now, who are the people that fall into this? I don't know, but they do, and these people should not be allowed to do this. We gotta protect the dumb people too. This master takes on a kickboxer and at first he may have thought that things would work out as he doesn't even lift his hands. But then he gets hit with a jump kick and he realizes that it's time to start touching. He mostly does a lot of grabbing until the end when he throws a good cross but it doesn't land and his face is completely open to receive this punch that ends it all. We have another no touch master taking on another kickboxer. Just look at that smirk before the fight even starts. He doesn't even know what's about to come. He 
Garcia has horrible leg work with bad hand placement, so the kickboxer starts to chop him down with very powerful leg kicks. I really like the fact that the kickboxer took the fight seriously and worked like he was facing a legit fighter. And he was able to get a really good punch at the end before the, the no touch guys corner threw in the towel since they saw what was starting to happen. A complete demolition. This is one of the best videos showing a Wing Chun master getting destroyed by a boxer who only fought with one arm. He only used his left hand to completely destroy this guy. This boxer was able to somehow protect himself pretty well with just one hand and with great head movement and footwork. He did some amazing counter punching waiting for the Wing Chun practitioner to throw and fairly often land his weak ass hits. Then he would come back with his very powerful punches that made the guy retreat every single time. He would also change his stances very effectively and beat him up pretty good. Pretty embarrassing moment for this guy. Why would he even take the challenge to fight a fighter using one hand? You cannot come out on top in this type of fight. Just fight them at full power and take your beating like a man, because at least there will be no excuses. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.